This underwater drone, called Hydrus, is using artificial intelligence to study coral reefs. Australia's Great Barrier Reef has been hit by a major coral bleaching event, triggered by warmer ocean waters. Now, with the help of Hydrus, marine scientists are working toward more accurate and more regular surveys to better understand the impact of climate change. Melanie Olson leads the ReefWorks program at the Australian Institute for Marine Science. Diatines can only see so much and go so far, and that's where we've had to augment our survey methods to include the use of robotics just to enable us to scale, to go deeper, to operate in areas where predators like crocodiles and bull sharks and jellyfish now routinely reside. Hydrus operates fully autonomously with a range of more than 8 kilometers over 3 hours. It can go as deep as 10,000 feet and captures video with a high-resolution 4K camera. The drone has forward-facing sonar and AI-powered navigation. Advanced Navigation Subsea Product Manager Peter Baker says their technology is being used to build 3D maps of the reef. We're working on coral mapping with the Australian Institute of Marine Science. And what they're trying to do is map areas of coral to detect change within those uh, areas, which they can then use to extrapolate and model the entire reef. One of the benefits of having a robotic system is that it goes back to that same location every single time, and it takes the same photo from the same orientation every single time, which is really, really difficult to achieve with a human diver. The Great Barrier Reef has seen six localized bleaching events since 1998. Bleached coral can recover if waters cool, but if ocean temperatures remain high for longer periods, it will die. Oceanographers tie this mass bleaching event to climate change. Dina Mitchell, VOA News.